Izzy. She's shaking. She's a little yeah. nervous. Izzy is part of Tracy's Dogs, a nonprofit organization focused on fostering and relocating dogs from overpopulated areas and helping them find their forever homes. What about her? Where did she come from? She's from Palm Valley Animal Center in Edinburgh. It's it's a it's a pound that has one of the highest intake rates in the country, and uh, she got here uh, mid February and. Uh, we got a little under the weather and we got that all under control and she joined a play group. Izzy is just one of the many dogs that stay behind. Dogs that haven't been adopted. But there is a silver lining to Izzy's story. She gets to stay at the facility north of Stone Oak until she is adopted. We're a bridge from the pound to their forever home and we just make life a little bit better until they do get adopted. Co-founder Scott Wyatt and his small team are heroes, making a large impact with a canine overpopulation problem in South Texas. How long ago did you realize that this is something that you wanted to do? You wanted to help the dogs and the dog population? It really happened by mistake, honestly. I was in sports marketing and TV advertising business prior to this, and Tracy was filming dogs down at Brooks Center uh, when she got furloughed, and she just posted them on YouTube, found there was a lot of people all over the country interested in and adopting the dogs that were down here in San Antonio. So we developed initially a concept where we would rescue dogs from high kill shelters and find a way to get them north where the demand was. The whole team works to load the trailer with dogs in the morning. The prep actually starts about four or five days prior. Um, everything from getting the trailer cleaned and ready um, to having enough puppy pads and towels. We carry two 48 gallon in, in, in the trailer. Those are two installed tanks. So we've got close to 100 gallons of water Water, which we would never go through, yeah. but it's nice to have those types Gotta of have things. Just in case. Exactly. For some fosters, it's a very emotional time. I know that their lives are going to be changed forever um, from the day they get here, and some don't make it uh, to their forever home. But while they're here, and if they do pass away, they know they were loved and cared for while they were here. Since the organization started seven years ago, the team has traveled tens of thousands of miles and has saved the lives of thousands of dogs. But over the last seven years, it's kind of evolved into a much bigger organization and structure. And, uh, and we're thrilled because we will rescue close to 700 and we'll do probably close to 40,000 miles on the road this year, just getting those dogs to their new homes. I lended a hand and helped load some of the pups into the trailer. Good luck, baby. There you go. An experience that was extremely rewarding. Well, thank you so much for having us out here. Now, Tracy's Dogs is a part of the Big Give this year. Yes, sir. And a big part of this, too, I love this sign that's right behind us. Is saving one dog will not change the world, but for that one dog, the world will change forever. For the Big Give and SA Live, I'm David Elder. And you know they care when the one woman put the dog in the, the kennel right there, give it a little kiss on the oh, nose. Yeah.